Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, I have no idea uh, what is in this. So <laughs> that didn't quite make it. I have no idea what's in here. We're going to find out together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find the link for my Patreon right down below. And please, <laughs> make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. I, uh, I, sometime I should um, do like an, uh, I guess it'd be a gag. It'd just be outtakes of me trying to throw that thing and have it land perfectly. Because a lot of times it just flies off and... You know, if it lands anywhere close, I'll leave it in. But I should put together the outtakes of that for you guys. All right. We got some brown paper. And we have a note here. Let's see what we've got. Hello, MC. Here is the... Oh, cool. All right. Well, hold on. Because I'm sure that the thumbnail looks something like this. I want... Can I take a picture in the middle of the video? Well, let me do that. And let's try for the thumbnail. Oh, no, it just turned the camera. <laughs> it's still recording though, right? Okay, let's take it. There we go. <laughs> All right, for the thumbnail. Anyways, um, that's what my ceiling looks like, by the way. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, James. I appreciate that. Let's take a look what we've got in here. I think you guys probably know what this is, right? Chavez, what could it be? It looks a little bit smaller, maybe, than some of the other stuff we've been seeing here lately. Ooh, okay. So guys, this is the Chavez Tack, or tiny A-word knife. <laughs> I, hey, I'm trying to comply, right? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Um, so this is available right now. You can absolutely buy this knife. Boy, that is smooth. Wow. Hang on. Oh, yes. Very, very smooth. So these are, I'm guessing, still Riot made. Much less expensive than um, the uh, 229 that I've got. Um, this is a smaller knife, but it still feels like a chunky tank. I love little chunky tanks. I love them. I just think they're super cool. If I'm going to carry a small knife, I might as well, you know, for me, having the novelty of, of like just overbuilt, like totally unnecessary overbuiltness, I just like it. I like the Hinder Half Track for the same reason. You can definitely pick these up right now. I'll link them right down below. Um, what are we looking at for materials? M390 and titanium. We've got, of course, the Chavez clip, which people will inevitably say right down below, I love it, or I hate it. I love it. I hate it. That's fine. Fill up my comment section. It's really great for the algorithm. Um, seriously, go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool. I like this. I mean, you know, my rule with knives is I really like to get a at least a four-finger position grip on it. But if there's enough there for cool factor... I'll make an exception. This guy, right off the bat, it makes me want to throw it in my pocket. This is really cool. I wonder what the blade stock thickness is. Because I don't think it's quite... Should we compare it with the full size? Hang on. I'll get it. Hang on. Where is it? I got too many knives. <laughs> what? Where's the job is? <laughs> Bear with me. I, prom I know that I'm like looking right at it. And I'm just... There it is. I was. I was looking right at it. All right. So there's the full size one, or well, technically there's one bigger, but it's the custom. If you've never seen the custom, go look up Jim Skelton's video on it. Holy moly, that thing is huge. So uh, let's see here, blade stock thickness on the tack. All right, still thick boy, 150 thousandths. Uh, the uh, 229, I think is 160 or 165. Okay, 160, the calipers are probably just off. So we'll do some size comparisons here. 229, tack, there you go. Give you guys a measurement here. <laughs> Disorganized, because I normally don't have this stuff in place, because it's just an unboxing, it's not a review. For anybody wondering, like, why is he he's so unprofessional? First time I've ever handled it. Got to experience it for a couple of weeks before I can give you a review. Otherwise, what kind of reviewer would I be? 
Eight and a quarter inches on the big boy. Small boy. It's coming in at like six and an eighth. Um, blade length is definitely under three inches. So if you live in an area where you have a three inch blade lock, rejoice because you can carry this. Cutting edge, two and a half inches. Thickness on the titanium versus the big guy. Now this is going to be a problem for some people and it's going to be something that's kind of neat for everybody else. Um, it's almost exactly as thick as the, um, <laughs> that's the big one here. Another cool thing that I, I like personally is the fact that we're looking at a titanium liner lock. I think. Let me hold the magnet up here and make sure this is all titanium. Yeah, it's all titanium. We've got a titanium plate here. And then underneath we have thick titanium liners on both sides. Milled out? Nope, because that's not Chavez's style. What do we got for weight here? Let's take a look. Doesn't feel that bad. I'll weigh the big one here real quick. Big one, six and a half ounces. No surprise there. This guy, pretty, still fairly heavy for a small knife, but 3.67 ounces. Come on, guys. I mean, regardless of how big it is, 3.67 ounces, that's nothing. That's 0.67 ounces away from what I consider to be ultra lightweight. Anything under three ounces to me is trivial, right? So this isn't really something I'm going to notice other than the dimensions, right? If you don't like thick knives, you may not like this, but if you like little tanks, this is a well-priced little tank that I believe is made by Riot. One of the better priced knives made by Riot. Boy, that's nice. The flipping action is really good on this. God dang, it makes me want a flipper version of this. Mmm. Yeah, it's the same grind too. It's the exact same grind. That's cool. Uh, yeah, first impressions, I, I really like this. Honestly, I thought, okay, it's a Chavez. I just want to look at it, right? It's small. I'm probably not going to like it very much, but um, yeah, it, that's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm into that for sure. For a smaller knife, it's not not super common for me to be like, wow, cool, small knife, right? Every now and then I find one that I think is cool. It, I get extra points if it's a little chunky, but that's just my preference, just novelty stuff, right? It's definitely going to cause an inconvenience for some people, but it is cool. You can check it out in the description. I'll link it down there. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Thanks again to James for sending this in. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... This is bothering me, centered. Please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.